Howdy, 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 gorgeous Taurus. How are you doing, honey? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading for April 2022. All right, honey? So if you enjoy this tarot reading today, be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign Taurus to get the full spectrum of what's going down in your life in specific. As well, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you enjoy this tarot reading today, Taurus. All right? So let's see what's good, what's popping with you right now, Taurus. Let's see what's been going on with you, honey. All right? We have this Empress energy, Lover's energy coming in here. All right? I never usually do uh, any type of pregnancy reading uh, towards just because it's kind of a sensitive su uh, subject for me personally just uh, for personal reasons obviously honey um, but I do feel as if in this dynamic here for my Tauruses that are been that have been trying to get pregnant or have a child here towards uh, you have the card of fertility here with the Empress energy as well as the lover's energy so if you have been trying I kind of even want to be saying darling like it seems to be um, situation where I want to be surprised if uh, you end up being successful when it comes to having a kid. So I congratulate you on that. All right. Uh, for others of you, Taurus, I mean, that is a very specific side message, right? We have the back of the deck is the King of Pentacles as well. All right. You guys, Taurus, I feel like right now, you're dealing with an energy here where I wouldn't be surprised if currently with the situation, it's like you're trying to uh, uh, meet somebody halfway or you're wanting a situation to meet you halfway here. World energy coming in as your overall um, energy for this week here. Yeah, it feels as if lots of major arcana. Can we also take note of that? And even on the non-major arcana, we have big playing cards with those two kings here. All right. I feel like right now, Taurus, you're in this place of really observing if this situation is something that you want to continue nurturing here. All right. With this King of Swords energy, you're really challenging your mindset here, trying to figure out. It's almost as if some of you guys have been towards trying to find spirits, uh, signs or omens um, that they're leaving, trying to guide you to your next decision, because that's where I feel like a lot of you guys are at right now is being like, all right, what is the next best decision for me? For a lot of you guys, you're in this place of where you're not sure if you close out a cycle to begin a new cycle here or if there's something a little bit more here worth um investing into right and so i feel like for many of you tauruses here this is giving me an energy of where um with the situation this is gonna make or break you and the situation here i feel like with this energy here it's like trying to meet, trying to uh, engage with somebody or trying to understand somebody that is just very polar opposite of you, Taurus. I wouldn't even be surprised if you're dealing with some type of air sign here, just because you have the King of Pentacles here, right? Which is your energy because Taurus is Earth energy here. And then you have the King of Swords, that air energy coming in here. So it's like trying to um, have this other and trying to understand and also trying to be understood by this uh, other energy here. All right. And uh, just it's just on, I hear respect um, or come to an agreement here and for whatever the case is it's like an apology I don't know if you feel as if you feel like the situation should apologize to you or this energy should be more um, tending to you catering to you a little bit here all right when I see this Empress energy with as the card of fertility right you know taking aside from the pregnancy message that I had for someone just very in specific there um, the card of fertility there is the sense of it goes so much more than just actual like giving birth to like a child it gives birth to something that you want to create in this t uh, timeline here right you have the page of swords energy coming in here as well as the knight of pentacles it feels as if communication slowly coming slowly but surely all right so i do want to be saying here that you know, you might be having doubts currently when it comes to this energy, Taurus, and being like, all right, is this energy worth it? Or is this a, t is this a relationship? Or is this a situation where its cycle has completed and it's time for you to move on into a new direction, right? When you have this Page of Swords energy here in a social dynamic, that's someone keeping watch, paying attention to what it is that you are doing. Um, it also represents communication, all right? Needing to communicate here. So, Taurus, I feel as if you guys would really value being able to have a sit-down conversation conversation and now with this knight of pentacles i don't feel like it's going to be coming on in on their end anytime soon Taurus. so i will be saying that right now it feels as if they're just trying to uh slowly building the courage towards doing that all right we have this judgment energy now stepping forward <laughs> with this situation as well so i do feel as if spirit is definitely it's like spirit's trying to get you to um 
interact with this that's how i see this is really going down to us it's like spirit is really trying to force a confrontation or a conversation with this it's like this isn't quite settled here there's like some unfinished business i feel with this and so with this page of swords nine of pentacles energy here um they're slowly building up the courage towards doing that tour so if you haven't been communicating with them for a little bit here or there has just been like some misunderstandings what have you here i feel like there will be a converse like there will be y'all will be placed into a situation towards where you can't help but have a conversation talking about what has happened and trying to understand one is one in another right so what actually happened with this situation here we're talking about communication towards like like, girl, <laughs> I'm not even going to edit this out. <laughs> Taurus, I'm going to just like keep that in. So what is with the situation here, Taurus? Like what, what, what is going on? Sun energy coming in here with the page of cups so this is adorable uh Taurus all right it seems to be as if like both of you guys have this desire of coming back together here but I do get this sense of stubbornness all right so I let's just be straight up here Taurus all right I don't know what's going on between you and this other situation here but I feel as if you guys need to just remind each other that you're on the same team you know um which has been happening a lot for a lot of the zodiac signs recently Taurus can I say where it's just like communication communication has just been like a seemingly been a theme for a lot of people here and so i feel like a lot of you guys need to uh just lay everything out on the table i feel like that conversation is going to be coming here now with the page of cups that's by definition the deepening of current connections as well as new energy coming in here all right and so when you have two different pages here and two two cards talking about new energy here i can't help but also acknowledge the message that i will be saying that be anticipating some type of new energy coming in here that seems to be pretty profitable here for you with that sun energy because it's the best card in the tarot deck here all right but I want to be saying in a social dynamic here, it feels as if both you guys have like the your intentions are in the right place or rather your heart is in the right place here. But because you guys are just so different here, it's like very much so yin and yang. Even when I look at the lover's energy with that Gemini, it's like it's like each other's halves here. Right. I feel like you guys complement each other in very beautiful ways. Right. With how your personalities will click. But when there's a misunderstanding or when there's tension, it's like because of those opposites as well It's like y'all will click in beautiful ways but y'all will also like really butt heads as well here but i really do see nothing but positive intentions on both sides here you know at the end of the day like whatever was said on both sides you know not excusing anything right because i don't know y'all situation personally honey but it feels as if like you know there's no one wants to hurt the other person no one's like directly after another person here and that's probably why you've been finding yourself where it's like you can't escape a specific energy it keeps on making its appearance here because spirits aware about this all right spirits aware about this and so both you guys are consistently thinking about one another here it's like y'all are constantly um uh, will be doing things that will remind each other of the, of the other person here i feel as if i wouldn't be surprised if you or if it's not you taurus it's the other person that has been dreaming heavily about one and uh each other here because i am being shown a dream catcher so i do feel as if like there's a reason for it right there's a reason as to why spirit is just like consistently putting out these reminders because it's like y'all's there's y'all's story is not quite done yet here we have the hierophant here with the devil energy so this is talking about this is where we're getting into the heart of the situation here taurus all right where it's just like there's this commitment here but then this devil what is this devil about nine of swords coming in here all right so thoughts are just getting to the best of you guys all right if not on one side but both all right nine of swords that's the card of sleepless nights towards that's the card of where it's just overall anxiety here it feels as if on both sides here like because y'all are not being completely transparent with one another here y'all are just in this place of um making assumptions about the other person and going into these narratives and then it just starts spiraling in a way that just isn't productive to anybody all right and not doing anything lovely here when i have this hierophant energy here that's a card of commitment to, you know it's that very traditional marriage energy here like you were getting nothing but very solid energy here even with the queen of cups here as well 
like this is nothing but positive energy here Taurus and so I'm not telling you to you know uh, again what you do with this energy is your business all right let's make that clear but I feel as if y'all cycle has just not completed yet there's still more that needs to be said here because you guys clearly care about one another here a conversation is inevitably going to be happening here now on their end here if you might be feeling a little bit some type of way because Taurus you're just like well they should be the one to reach out to me da 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 da, -da. you know and gonna say one way another you know all i'm gonna simply say in that is that um does it really matter who reaches out to who if you guys are just wanting to have you know to have a conversation and to uh understand each other again you know does that really matter who uh connects to one another first i see on their end it's slow going right with that knight of pentacles it's the slowest moving knight out of all of them but they will eventually build up that courage if you don't all right but no who's to say like how long it takes for them to do that all right you have the Falcon card coming in here for you, Taurus. Act on the opportunity that's before you and commit to it without equivocation, as well as the Walrus card. Uh, remaining vigilant about your current situation. Pay attention to the signs and omens and let them dictate your choices. Taurus, did I not say at the beginning of this reading that I felt as if you guys have been paying attention, trying to find signs from spirit on like where to be going next or how to be handling the situation next here? Because it's very interesting that we have that Walrus card coming in, right? Because it's literally talking about the signs and the omens. And so be be anticipating spirit showing to you where you need to be taking action next and really for a lot of you guys Taurus this reading is going to be that sign for you being like okay I need to take action in regards to this and you know force that conversation here all right because there's a sense of just like unfinished business here all right and I do feel as if like at the end of the day like y'all y'all are two very good people this is like two energies here that just have um you know it's just they are very different here um but the intention the heart's in the right place here you have the full moon surrendering to the divine another card really affirming this message taurus about spirit being heavily involved i mean even are y'all like are y'all spiritually practicing at all y'all like a spiritual practitioner taurus here or do you just have a really good healthy relationship with your spiritual team either way like if especially if it's the latter it just makes me really happy because i'm just noticing like how deep of a bond that you have with your spiritual team um this can be your ancestors spiritual uh spirit guides past relative here and then the new moon and scorpio working through your fears here uh scorpio <laughs> i'm calling you scorpio now uh tourist here all right surrender to the divine with this for whatever the case is you i'm gonna clock some of you tourists this is gonna be a very specific message for somebody here taurus all right whether you want to admit it or not you want to connect with this energy again at the very least you want to gain clarity and gain closure with the situation be like hey like where did we go wrong here what went wrong da, 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 da. like figuring things out but either it's like your pride or your fear and hearing that answer or what have you here is what's blocking you from really reaching out to them and engaging with them all right now what's going on with them personally Taurus? i mean maybe that's completely different tarot video and if people are interested in hearing that maybe i'll just do a bonus of video sometime this week um and maybe that'll assist you Taurus. so let me know if you want that um in the comments below here but there's a reason as to why spirit is really pushing for you to reconnect with this energy now full disclaimer Taurus, before i get all the because it always always happens because i always get the comments where people are just like oh no this is a narcissist da, 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 da. like i don't want to talk to this ex anymore they were abusive girl then obviously this part of this reading isn't for you all right because i don't see any type of toxicity i feel like it's just misunderstandings when i see the king of pentacles and the king of swords honey i just think it's like two very different energies who complement each other but also you know we're just very different here and because of that page of swords here communication is just going to be what's rough all right now other messages that i got throughout this uh tourist definitely be anticipating new energies coming in whether that's opportunities coming in here or I'd have you right with that page of cups and new people coming in I want to lean more sort more so towards new people coming in because of the this dynamic here all right but overall I feel like your overall energy outside of socially seems to be pretty solid here pay attention to where spirits trying to guide you at this per point in time here but overall y'all are on the y'all are on the right track with your life you have a lot of good things um in the works for you guys here just you know just handle this energy here darling all right hear this out 
to get some closure with the situation. I'm not saying that you guys are going to be the best of friends or in a relationship again, honey. I ain't saying that you're going to be best of family members again, all right? But I, there's definitely some type of closure or understanding um, here that is necessary that I feel like will give such a nice release for you, Taurus, that will allow you to just, you know, claim all this other energy that is coming in for you because predominantly this reading seemed to focus in on some type of social dynamic. So I love you so much, Taurus. Hopefully this reading helped you in some way. Remember, if you want to book a reading with me, I only do readings through my website, simplyvelka.com. Uh, be sure to follow my social media, TikTok and Instagram, also being Simply Velka Taurus, and I'll be connected with you sometime in the near future. Bye, darling.